According to DFAT's own website, between 2017 and 2022, Australia exported over $13 million worth of, quote, arms and ammunition to Israel. Can you please explain how the government can export millions of dollars worth of arms and ammunition to Israel while you also claim to be sending no weapons to Israel? Um, Minister Wong. It is really very irresponsible for a senator to suggest that um, a government department is engaging in misinformation and disinformation at this time. It really is irresponsible of you in this place to do that. You can disagree. But, but you know the way in which misinformation and disinformation is used in our society, particularly at this time, and you have a responsibility to use your platform in a more responsible way, in a more responsible way, Senator Shoebridge, than you do. I know that politics is a hard game, but really, you should use your platform a little more responsibly. I responded on, on that issue in, in my primary answer, where I explained— would you? Uh, Senator Shoebridge. You've asked your question. I'm asking you to listen respectfully. Minister, please continue. Minister. Uh, thank you. I answered that question in, in my primary answer, uh, where I uh, uh, reference the fact that the advice I have is the data to which the senator refers is collected by ABF and complied by the Australian Bureau of Statistics based on information provided by companies. 